Okay, now, most of tying up is nothing more than just, just natural progression. It's going from this tie to here to here where we just stop. One thing about being right here, it's kind of not the best place to be. Right here, it's 50-50 game. It's, it's him, it's me, we're both here. I can't really do anything, he can't do anything. Because from right here, I can't drop down to single or double because he's controlling right here. He can't drop down because I got him with this sign, okay? So the thing is, what I like to tell guys to do from here, come a lot of it. It's easier. And what I do a lot of times is, I'll go with my thumb in here, and I'll just try to yank back this little bit, clear myself a little space. After I clear the space right here, and I go right in here. A lot of times the guy that say he's real tight and I can't get to the arm drag position, I just go right in here, just turn my shoulder just a little bit to clear a little bit of space. Once that space is clear with my thumb, I cut my fingers right over in here. It's popping right in there. It's nice, quickly, and smoothly. And once I'm right here, I pummel, but I don't, I'm not trying to pummel straight in here because it's going to be hard. All you do is close down. So once I get right here, we always go down. There's season wrestling. The way to get up a front of that is you can't get in. He's not going to let you. It's just almost impossible. Especially in no holds barred fighting, a lot, of the, uh, a lot of the fights, you're wearing the padded gloves. So that's going to be even tougher. So what you want to do is you want to go down under it. See what I'm saying? You can get it, you can get the glove down here. From here, all I do is rip my hand up like this. Because it's strong. It's like lifting a weight. I don't want to pull it like this. I want to do like this. I want to like curl. I want to curl my arm up under his arm and be between his arm and his body. So he's tight right here. All this right here. Watch I turn my, watch my torso when I do this. I turn this a little bit. I want to be like right here. Look where I am. I'm like this, but my feet are in the same position. I don't want to lose my footing here. So I'm right here, put my thumb in, and just turn this right here. Okay? Now, I got a little bit of space. I go here. He's going to clamp down a little bit. So when he clamps down, I want to just put my pummel below it. And pummel below it, I turn my hand up, and right here. Now I got double unders. Okay, once I get to the, the double underhook position by using my thumb and my shoulders, to clear this little bit of space and then rip up under his arm, then the thing it becomes control. It's all about controlling it. We don't want to. A lot of I see a lot of guys controlling down in here. This is good, but it's not the best place you can be. Because if, if, if I'm right here, he can get his hip. Try to take your hips back. He does. He can do this. And then I'm, I'm, we're doing this weird stuff. This weird dance that I've seen a lot of guys do in the UFC because their hands are down. It's just like the other the other hooks. I want to keep my hands up high. If I get my hands up here high. I don't care if he puts his hips back. Put hips back. I don't care. I still got him. If I put, he puts his hips back right here, I kind of lose control. Because he might be able to break my grip. And that's what he's supposed to do. So I keep here. Okay? This is better control. Keep one leg in. Don't just, we're not just standing like this. Here I don't have anything. Okay? Just kind of get in here. Sure from another angle. I'm just facing in here with my leg in. One leg. This way I got control. I got a good base. I don't want to be here bandy leg. A lot of guys get this funny thing. I see a lot of guys. I can tell when a guy doesn't know he's doing this position because you get him there and they, the, they, they got the double unders and they like this because they don't know what they're doing. But when I get in here, I stick one leg forward. You know, it keeps some kind of, it keeps him slightly bent over. If he's a tall guy, so I guess like, he's got to try to do that. If not, he's going to be just riding my knee. So I'm right here with my hands locked with the control. I see a lot of guys locking like this from here. I don't like to lock like this because it kind of limits what I can do. And this is one of my favorite positions in wrestling also. So what I like to do right here. I'm going to keep this in here, keep it high. From right here, I can work, okay? Right here, keep it high. I'm not right here, I'm just keeping it high. I'm not around, his, his hips around here. I'm in here, I'm high, okay? Now all I want to do is basically keep good position. As long as I keep good position, he's basically in bad position. Look how he slumped over. Like I, I got his arms are like this, because I'm keeping this up high. Now if he go to like, he's going to try to, remember I said before, guys, well, some guys in here, what they'll try to do is they'll try to lock their hands. If I'm like this, try to lock your hands. He can't do it. I have a lot of kids, when they're thinking this, they say, oh, the guy's locking his hands like this. And say, yeah, because your lock was too low. That's what I mean, keep the lock up here. But as long as you keep my lock up here, I don't worry about him doing things like locking his hands and trying to throw him. Because if he locks his hands, he can throw him. If he locks that entire right here, pin him like this. I'm in trouble. Okay? Because a lot of guys, as we all know in the UFC, are very strong. If you're locked right here, and they get their hands locked right here, there's no telling what they can do to you. He can just fall down and just throw you. It's a tough position to be in. So we want the control in here. We want this up high. Come up high, he goes, he goes to be like, try it. Try like your hands. He can't do it. And that's what we're going to be here. And from here, we got control. So from right here, we work, we do takedowns. Okay. And from the double, double underhook position, one of my favorite takedowns is a bear hug, believe it or not. A lot of people don't know how to do a bear hug. If you know how to do one effectively and efficiently, it's one of the best moves in this position. And all I simply do from here is 
I got my lock up high, I keep it high, I got control, I got my leg in. Now all I want to do is come around with this. See, if I have a grip like this, I can't do it. But with this grip, it's flexible enough that I can keep my arms up like this, keep him from locking his hands. And all I want to do is take my grip up like this and slam it right to the middle of his back. But watch how I change levels when I do that. From right here, when I go down, let me show it from this far. From right, when I'm right here, I'm gonna come down to here, but I'm gonna change levels at the same time. So when I go right here, I wanna come right down my shoulder in his chest. Like this, that's the bear hook. So I'm right here, almost this way. Not like this. I know you can pretty much judge with somebody's hips are. Even if it's a taller guy or a shorter guy, you can pretty much, for some reason, I know I can. I can judge where his hips are without even looking, or I know where they or I can just look. Simply look. You want me from right here? And just go here. Right here. At the same time, when I do this, I'm kind of, I kind of lunge. What I'll do first is I'll pull him a little bit. I'll pull him this way into me just a little bit. And once I pull him in, then I go right here and slide my hip, my shoulder down. It's like this. It's all the way down. It's a good effective move. Right here, let's from the other way. I'm right here, I'm controlling. Now all I'm gonna do is just go to here. Right here, just straight down. Just like it. Just a big hammer into the middle of his back. And bear hug him straight down. Right here. First I want to pull up. Pull just a little bit. And then come back. Right here. From right here, I'm changing levels. Look at my legs. A lot of guys, and this mistake a lot of guys uh, make when doing this move is they don't change levels. They go from here, then they go like this, and they can't get it because they're on their toes. They don't change levels. What I want to do is I want to change levels. I'm right here. I got good control. I'm going to pull them here just a little bit and go here. Here. Notice how I change levels. To there. My legs, went, I went from here to here. Change levels to my legs. Okay. One thing about this bear hook versus what I've seen a lot of, I've seen a lot of the Brazilians and like I go to Mundial and places like that, they're doing bear hooks to takedowns. And they're not being very effective because, and to be honest with you, I think this one that I'm doing is a very effective bear hook. Because a lot of guys are sitting here and they're just coming right here trying to, trying to get the guy down. The guy won't go down. So then they wrap this leg around here to try to get him down. And one thing about wrapping, if he's right here trying to bear hug me and he wraps his leg around my leg like that, wrap it all around. He wraps it around like this and he's trying to trip me like this. The thing another guy can do, as long as I keep my leg and back based out, I can honestly just kind of bring him through like this. It's not a good place to be. Or what I see happening is guys are in there and they're wrapping that leg around and the guys are just kind of staying up in here and, and you can honestly just do this. Come across like that. It's just not that effective coming across with a trip like this. Your, your, your balance is too, too far off. You're right here. I'm trying to do this, you know? We're trying to get down here like this. You see, the guy, all the guys say is come across your head and push you around. Push, push across my head with this arm like that. Right, I'm like this. I'm like, I'm too off balance. I see even good wrestlers doing duck bear hugs. They're right in here like this. And they're just coming here trying to squeeze. No. I want to just do a good bump on your nerve centers down here. Right here. Just pop. Nice and good. Pop. Change levels. Right here. Because the initial shot first gets him. So right here, it's just like on the double leg. The double leg, remember, I'm, I'm slamming right here. The back, same thing. I'm going to chop. I'm chopping hard, too. And the funny thing, I mean, it's, it, it may seem kind of maybe a little bit over-aggressive, whatever, but it, I did it in wrestling. In wrestling, you know, like I was saying before, there are a lot of places you can't really just chop and be too rough with the guy. But I never got called for this. From right here, I would just simply just come down here as hard as I could. Look how I change levels. Look why I'm, I'm not straight up like this. I'm right here. My chest, I slap my face and my chest down in here. Keeping my head up right here. It's pretty hard to stop. Okay, conversely, I can also show how to get out of this move. Supposedly, suppose I come out, he gets me in this position. I gotta get out of it. It's a dangerous position to be in. If somebody's got you up like this, pretty much they got you. He got it up high. Step back a little bit. He's got you up here like this. This is kind of a bad position for me. A lot of us have been in this position before. And the way I want to get out of it 
is I got it, and I got to get out of it quickly. I take my thumb right here, I stick it in here, and I just basically I'm gonna turn my entire torso to here, and I'm not keeping my head up. Notice when I did that, I didn't go here. When I go here, what happens? Guillotine. So I did it. I came to here. Okay, and all I'm doing on that is he's got the tie. All I'm doing is basically I'm, I'm coming in here, I'm pushing him his arm like this, and turning my torso to here. Okay, now look what I've done. I stretched out his grip. My arm is still out. He's got his arms locked. I've stretched out his grip with my shoulders and with this. So I'm doing this. Okay, and the other thing I want to do is I want to leave my feet. Because when I do it, I want all my weight to go against his grip also. Watch, right here. I push and just, I'm going up. Watch how I, I come up first. I come up. Because I want a lot of weight to come down on his grip. So I'm right here like this. I come here. I turn, and right here, I stand here. Keep my head up, okay? And from now, all I'm gonna do is pummel back in. From the other side. But right here, he's got it. I'm still controlling him on this side. I'm still doing it on this side. I'm gonna see what's happening over here. All I'm doing is I'm coming right here. I still got my, my, still got my thumb in on the other side over here. And I'm just gonna turn my torso like such, and then drop. I turn, when I get right here, I come up with my toes, and and over here, my head is still up. Okay. 